Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to Make Fire Mercenaries. I'm Computer, and last episode, we wrecked. I don't think there's any other way to put it, because just look at how little damage my mechs took. Well, this uh, kaiju took about 15% damage, I'd say, something like that. And it's not even 10% on the other ones. And ammo is also rather nicely up there. Then again, I did repair in the mission. I do keep forgetting that. Which repairs your mech and resupplies you with ammo. So, yeah, we probably took a little bit more damage than is apparent right now. But with this, except for these LRMs, I could take all of these into combat right now. Probably not gonna, because I want to change this up a little bit. The PPC wasn't all that useful, and the Gauss Rifles impair your vision a lot, so I might want to go with AC-20s on this one instead. Maybe. Not quite sure yet. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, today is the last mission. The Crucible. And I've been sort of fearing it this entire playthrough because it's a doozy it's yeah I'm not sure all of my mechs are going to survive this mission honestly also that was weird I mean breaking f the laws of physics and everything is fine but maybe don't do it when I'm looking yeah like that anyway yeah um Rihanna has our next mission, or the last mission. Hello. Commander, the moment we've been waiting for is finally here. You've unlocked the last set of coordinates. I have. They point to another unexplored system. HD 438297. It's well beyond the inner sphere's outer boundary. Deeper into the periphery than we've ever ventured. Let's hope Comstar hasn't beaten us there once again. Well, we're about to find out. But these coordinates are more than two decades old. There's no telling if we can trust them. We could jump and find ourselves stranded, or facing a fate far worse. Hell, your father may have been laying a trap for whoever found the coordinates and unlocked them without his permission. The other coordinates each led somewhere noteworthy. There's every reason to believe these ones will lead somewhere even more significant. That may be true, but it's still going to require a leap of faith, Commander. Are you willing to take that risk? Absolutely. I'm going to that system, Rihanna, and I'm going to learn the truth about my father, no matter what. You have to decide for yourself whether or not you're willing to take that same risk. I wouldn't hold it against you if you wanted to sit this one out. We're a team, Commander. Where you go, I go. I'll inform Spears of our plans. Once we arrive, you know where to find me. Roger that. And there we go. We have the transmission right here, which is just to travel there for now. This is it, Commander. The final set of coordinates get us to HD 438297, and we might finally get the answers you've been searching for. And I'm going to go ahead and accept that, but not travel there just yet. I'm going to go back to... Civilization for a bit. That's a lot of money. Oh, hello. That was a weird little... Oh, a, a hero atlas. The Kraken again. I do already have a K. So I don't see the necessity to buy this. Also, 32. Yeah, that's a lot of money. However... Let's see... I'm not sure whether I want to take the Stalker with me. Long range support, but that's like LRM-20s. I do have this carapace with the same number of LRMs and also AC-20s. And more armor and everything. The Banshees need to go away for a bit, though. There. 120 millimeters and SRMs. I'm gonna put you over there now. I like these four medium lasers and the AC-20s, though. 
possibly even better. Wait, um, hold on. Mech stats, total missions 32, and mech kills 138. Over 32 missions, that's a lot. 32, 32. Now, what about the other one? There you go. Six missions. 12 mechs. I think you've killed less than. A lot less, in fact. Yeah. Then again, it could just be the... Hmm. It doesn't really work as a way to... Because I keep changing the weapons all the time, I can't really tell whether this one will be better in... Huh? This next mission is probably going to be long range, though. Medium pulse lasers are all nice and stuff, but the rack five... No, sorry. Cow's light. I think I, I want more punchy weapons. Anyway, I'm going to think about this for a little bit and then uh, see where we're at after that. So I'll see you in a bit. Ah, huh. finally docking at the right place, I see. That's nice. Rihanna. Oh, right, yeah. A derelict jump ship. Forgot about that. And those markings. Yeah. Star League Defense Force. It's incredible. And we will never hear about it again. Honestly, I wonder if that thing is salvageable. Probably not, because then whoever it fought to and lost to would have done so, I think. Could be wrong, though, but we need to speak to Rihanna. Hello Hunter? again. So Hi. What are we dealing with, Rihanna? That derelict jump ship is a hell of a sign that we've stumbled onto something major. Yeah, not every day you see something like that. From what I can tell from my initial scans, there's a massive Star League Defense Force base on this planet. One that's been constructed almost completely underground. Jesus. And Comstar? No sign of them anywhere. I think we're the first people to set foot on this planet in over 200 years, Commander. The pathway to the underground fortification is a series of defensive terraces that ascend to a pair of reinforced blast doors. They've been carved into the side of a mountain and mark the main entrance. If that weren't intriguing enough, there's obvious signs that a major battle took place on those terraces at some point in the past. Let's get down there and take a closer look. My thoughts exactly. But if we want to know what lies inside that citadel, I'll need to find a way in myself. While I do that, you and your lance will have to stand watch. Is the briefing ready? For whatever it's worth, yes. We can launch any time. Good. Gear up. Time to find the truth, whatever that may be. Copy that, Commander. Starting to think that maybe my first instinct is to say that well someone's been here in the last two hundred years, that someone being Mason's father. But uh, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just given the coordinates as a just in case kind of precaution, and he the case never came to be. Anyway, we have a transmission. There you go, Crucible. Okay, Commander, I'll make this short and sweet. I'm going to drop you onto one of the defensive terraces, well below the main entry to the base. After that, I'm going to park the dropship close to that entry point, then search for a way inside. Once I'm in, I'll report back. Spears is going to run overwatch from above in an IE dropship. Let's hope he doesn't get attacked, actually. 
anything unforeseen happens, he'll be your eyes and ears. Let's hope that doesn't happen and that we find what we're looking for. I'll meet up uh, with you again at the extraction point once I've uh, reconned the interior of the base. We get a very small amount of money for this. Let's see, contracts. Crucible, potential payout is a lot more than I expected. A hundred difficulty, yeah, that's, uh, yes. There's a massive Star League Defense Force base on this planet. One that's been constructed almost completely underground. From Brianna's initial scans, it looks like uh, we're going to be able to be the first people to set foot on the planet in over 200 years. My entire life, I've been working towards a moment like this, dreaming of the mere possibility. Of course, I never expected to find something this significant. Not truly. That said, Interstellar Expeditions was made for this type of thing, and I'm glad we were able to work together to find it, Commander. Good luck down there. I hope you find the answers you're looking for. I don't think we do, actually. But, uh, oh well. Uh, Desert Oasis, excellent visibility at noon, so I think they're right. Campaign, or, well... Not really a defense mission, closer to a war zone, to be honest. Difficulty 100, we get 400 tons, and I'm gonna take all of the airstrikes I can. Some damage coverage is probably a good idea. And then money. Yeah. Salvage is good and all, but uh, this is the last mission, so... Honestly, money is also not very... I mean, no, no. I do need money because I'm about to kind of run out. So, yes. I'm going to take the Night Star. And I did not uh, uh, make the gauss rifles light because i tried it out in a war zone and they have the same kind of particle effect so didn't really seem like a point and uh, i just uh, upgraded the medium pulse lasers and gave it a heavy laser instead of uh, the ppc also that reminds me i should probably change the weapon groups to that i think and then give it its own as well. And that should be f uh, like there. Yeah, something like that. Now, the D is good. Heavy medium lasers, the SRMs, the AC-20. It's a good like brawler or medium range mech, I feel. Then we have the Kaiju with the PPCs. I'm gonna say no, even though like there you are. You have the staying power because you don't use your ammo. Like, yeah, the LB-2X is really for flyers, but we're not going to encounter any flyers in this mission. So that's kind of neither here nor there. AC-20s, though. Uh, 210 millimeters and LRM-20s. I think that's the ticket there, which means I just switched the... but yeah. Now, for you, we have... we could go with another Atlas. Or another dual AC-20. But no, I think... This might be a controversial choice, actually. I've gone back to lram 15s on this one. And... I'm just gonna put it way in the back and hope that it can just... pester the enemy with a lot of LRMs. And we will be getting repair base, two in fact, so I can resupply this with ammo. So I think this is going to be fine. Yeah. The only concern here is uh, you have 13 in energy weapons, but no energy weapons. Mm, yeah, maybe I'll switch you two. That should be fine. Yeah. All right, once more unto the breach. I'm probably going to be very defensive in this mission, because if you wait in, you're probably just going to end up dead. Oh, nice dropship. Oh, there I am, right out in the middle. Excellent.
And there we have two emblems. One is Star League and the other is, uh, well, it's the clans. We should all know that by now, I'm I think. Commander. Thank you. I'm gonna wait with that for until we get to the very heavy lances in the end there. And Stalker, go stand over there, please. Together with the Commander. King Crab there and Yes, thank you. There's one. There's two. Also, holding. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Stop interrupting. Control M switches this. And, uh. Not that one, definitely. I think this one might be the best. Maybe, when it gets too much uh, smoke. Also, you are not going to chain fire. Good. Missed. Good. Come on. Thank you. How? Still not great. All right. Good start, good start. I'm still hurt more than anyone else. King Crab, come down forward slightly. How did that feel, huh? Atlas, come over here. Stop shooting the... I'm at your designated position. Good, and stay here. Okay. Um, no, not you. You. On my way. Let them come here. But we are. Bye. That's not okay. Well, I'm fine, but that was several hits to my head. And King Crab that there. Atlas there. I'm gonna hang back and just snipe for a bit. Stalker goes down there. Good, thank you. Good, and you're turning from the enemy. Well, maybe not. I 
I think maybe I should have gone with... Oh, hello. PPCs. Oh, nice! I keep forgetting you, you have really strong... AC-20. Ow, that's my head again. Okay. Everyone, focus on that now. While I work on my balance for a little bit. or even twice. Looks like there's a couple of mech repair bays too if you need them. Stalker over there. Atlas there. But you'll still need to activate them. I've sent you one of the override calls I found down here. Copy. Thank you. Maybe it's a little early, but I've been headshot like three or four times already, so I'm not gonna risk it. Maybe get them out here. Into the structure. A schematic I found shows something massive at the heart of the facility. I want to check it out. Go for it. All right, Rihanna, but don't take too long. From what Spears says, it looks like Comstar is going to throw everything they have at us this time, and I can't hold them off forever. Copy that. I'll be quick. Two more yeah. Headed straight for you, Commander. I was just thinking, like. If there's mechs in there, we have plenty of pilots on the dropship that don't really have anything to do right now. I'm gonna get rid of this building here because it's kind of in the way. There, and then I'm gonna go stand. Oh, uh, wait. Mm. Oh, hello. Seems like it. Atlas, stand there. Carapace, stand there. Still a little early to use my uh, airstrikes. Good shooting. Nice, maybe. Hello, Marauder. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to kill you. I truly, truly am. Atlas, focus on that guy. Well, I take the Panther, or try to. Uh, oh, you're not... No, you do have your... That might. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, right. I keep forgetting you have AC twenties too. You, you are a beast. Get rid of that and shoot. Oh, missed. Oh, 
hello, um... Out there, I'd say. Good start, good start. And oh, hello. Ow. Additional drop ships entering the upper atmosphere. I advise you fall back to higher ground. All right. Don't have to tell me. Actually, you did. Thank you for the assistance. Follow me for now. And there you are, Stalker. Go stand by the door. And then I want the Atlas there and the Carapace there. And while that's happening, I'm going to put myself in danger. Unnecessarily. That's so I can just back away after I've pelted them for a little bit. The carapace is actually the most damaged, which is surprising. Now they're coming. Holding it location. Good. Stay there. For once. Commander, you're not going to believe what I just found. There's a memory core down here. I've downloaded the data, scrubbing the memory core itself as I went. Comstar won't get his hands on the data. That is, as long as we make it out of here without being captured. I'm on my way out now. You need to hold these bastards off just a little longer. Roger Those that, mechs you saw, though. ETA. I've got more enemies inbound. We need to evac ASAP. Five minutes, Commander. I'll meet you at the dropship. Good. Okay, which is, by the way, right there. Which is nice. But... Just show me. There you are. Hello. I want to start shooting a little bit closer. About there, I'd say. Now. No, wait. No, 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 no. That, okay, this way. And then out of the way. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm got falling back. Yes, I'm falling back. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm Please Atlas, don't shoot me while I'm walking in front of you. Cause uh, Yeah, that feels like something you would do. Okay, that's not great. Uh, Atlas. Oh, wow. I like that. That's not great. I only have one airstrike left.
Yeah, that's actually true. Heavy metal inbound. Okay, that didn't do much. I'm repairing us all. Give me a second. Good, 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 good. Let's speed forward, actually. It's most of your weapons, but not all of them. Good, that's all of them. Was, I think a headshot actually and then we have a catapult I hate you but I love you but not in the hands of the enemy nice. I did aim that is true uh, kill that oh that better not explode um, carapace I'd like you to Atlas. There. Carapace. There. You, you, you do not stand on that ramp. Everyone will target you if you do. Which is why I'm going there now. Just hoping it gets one or two of them. Good. That was a hit. Yeah. Almost there. One minute out. The carapace is very damaged right now. S stupidly hurt and unnecessarily so as well. Although, I guess it's my own fault. Alright. Seems we have someone from the left. Also, um... No, I guess you're fine. But I'm gonna reposition you over there. Oh, that was your head. Ow, that was my head. Okay, everyone on that. I am backing away. Good, good. That was cockpit. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. That sounds like a really good idea, actually. Kind of wondering how we're doing that, if we're all on one side of the dropship, but... Sure. That's not for me to know. Oh, that's a lot of money. And that's a lot of reputation, which, I mean, if you're... Wait, no, no, no. You have to be level 15 to take this mission. So this reputation is literally meaningless. Well, maybe if we ever get one of those mods that increased the repetition limit to, or rec repetition level to, like, 30, this could work again, but, like, for now, useless, meaningless. Just a big number that means nothing. And we have two UAC 5s, tier 5, nice, and two, are these normal PPCs? Yes. Yes. Uh, they are not ER PPCs. They're normal PPCs. And then two LRM20s. And then seven double heat sinks. That's nice. Very nice. No salvage, because I'm guessing we... Because we had no way of staying around to pick it up. Sad, but understandable, I, supp I suppose. 26 mix. For me, that's the... 
Stalker? What the heck? Done 707. Oh. Wow. The carapace did most of the damage, but it also took most of the... Yeah, did most, took most. Um, yeah, okay, so that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have gone with uh, the other king crab. Or another atlas would also have been nice. But also, hold on. Payout, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. I took very little damage, but most of it was in the head, so scary. And yeah, no turrets and no vehicles or air units at all in this mission. Yeah. All right, sure, nice. And uh, no one is injured. That's also a nice thing. There we go. Oh, she took pictures, did she? Good. Thanks for having my back down there, Commander. We barely made it out alive. At least this time we beat Comstar to the prize, and what a prize it is. Or was. The memory core we found inside that base could be a game changer. No one's found anything like it since the Helm memory core was discovered in 3028. And we all know the impact that had. Uh, no, we don't. I don't. I don't uh, remember that part. Also... I probably made this comment back when I finished it the first time. But yeah, I wonder if it's possible to finish the campaign before 3028 and if it still says, you know, since the Helm Memory Core was discovered in the future. But uh, yeah, I wonder if that changes. Of course, it's going to take years to unlock all the data, then decide what to do with it. We're not equipped for that kind of operation, never mind the awesome responsibility it would entail. That's the kind of thing Interstellar Expeditions was made for. I'm sure Spears is already making arrangements. As far as I'm concerned, the fact that Comstar didn't get their hands on the data first, using it for their own selfish ends instead of sharing it with the people, is a victory in and of itself. But we accomplished more than that today, Commander. Come see me on the bridge and we when you've cleaned up. We have a lot to discuss. Yes. I expect we do. And yeah. You did good today. I'm still thinking that maybe I should have kept the PPC and tied its firing to the Gauss rifles so that there are three pinpoint shots going at the enemy instead of just two. But still, did a lot of damage. You, not so much. Well, I suspect you softened up the enemy so that I could come in with my Gauss rifles and finish them off. Maybe. You lost an arm? That's why you... Oh! Yeah, that's why it costs so much to repair you. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you still did good. Still did good. Except for that moment when you decided you wanted to stand on top of the rank so that uh, everyone could shoot at you. That's probably when you lost your arm as well. So... Should I rename you Anakin? Except Anakin didn't have the high ground. You did. Anyway, let's move on. And talk to Rayano. Hello. Yes. Commander, you know that when news of what happened here gets out, and it always does, one way or another, you're going to become a legend. I already am. We're going to become legend. This entire outfit. You got that right, mate. One for all and all for one, eh? The little Merc outfit that could took on Comstar and kicked their ass. We're bloody legends already, you ask me. Bahad's right. We make a hell of a team. Speaking of team. Spears has been waiting for a chance to talk with us. I'll patch him through. Spears, I've got the commander here. Hey, commander. Congratulations. That was some battle. I'm glad to see you made it out unharmed, for the most part, at least. We've come a long way since we first met. I had high hopes for you back then, being Nikolai's son and all. But you exceeded all my expectations. Can't think of another pilot or mercenary outfit I'd want to work with more. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate that, Spears. I wasn't sure about you in the beginning, to be honest, but you've proved a valuable ally. 
And more importantly, a good friend. Thank you. Rihanna, being in the field again after all these years, you didn't miss a beat. And the data you siphoned from the memory core before erasing it, the data we now have in our sole possession, that's all thanks to you. Well, I did have a little help. <laughs> Indeed. We won't know exactly what we've gotten our hands on for a while yet. But I have no doubt that the data contains an untapped treasure trove of extinct knowledge that could benefit the entire inner sphere for decades to come. I sure hope so. Commander, I know we haven't discussed anything formal yet, but with the permission of Rihanna and yourself, I'd like IE to take stewardship of the core's data to help ensure that it's safeguarded and handled the right way, and to make sure it ends up benefiting as many people as possible. Yourself and IE included, of course. Without question. I'm no saint, but I do have good intentions in this matter. We're all gonna make a ton of sea bills with this discovery, Commander. That doesn't mean we can't accomplish a great deal of good in the process. When the time finally comes to share this information with the people, I intend to consult you and Rihanna every step of the way. Sounds good to me. Rihanna? You have my blessing, Sebastian. Good luck. Thank you both. And with that, I'll say goodbye for now. I'm sure our paths will cross again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bit of a talker, that one, eh? A bit full of himself, too, you ask me. So, Commander, that just leaves one piece of unfinished business. I expect you noticed what was painted on the blast doors that led to the interior of the base. The Red Star? Yeah, I noticed it. Didn't look close to as old as the facility itself. There's no question it shares some resemblance to the Star League crest, but it's different. Unique. I've never seen it before. I don't think anyone has. No, I don't think so either. Your father had the coordinates to this place. He journeyed from somewhere further out in the periphery to get here. Then, for the first time, he made his way into the inner sphere. Stashing a pristine Star League mech along the way. We're thinking the same thing, Rihanna. Uh, thinking what exactly? I'm a bit lost here, mate. That my father descended from the people who followed General Kerensky. Blimey, mate. You mean the bloke who took the Star League Defense Forces, along with most of their tech, out of the inner sphere, never to be heard from again? That's right. I also think there's more of them out there. And that one day, they'll be coming back. Wouldn't that be a spectacle? But, until that happens, what's next for us, Commander? Well, we're not super rich yet, so it's business as usual, I guess. Time to line up some new contracts. Consider it done. All right, then. Now that that's settled, gonna get back to work, if you don't mind. Still plenty to do. Story of my bleeding life, eh? But you know what they say, no rest for the wicked. Just one thing before I go, guys. Might be a bit out of line here, so fair warning. Bit of a talker, that one. Yeah. And that's it. it. Took a few tries for me to actually finish it. Uh, second to last attempt, I actually blew up right as the mission ended. I still managed to, like, complete the mission, but it didn't feel quite right. So I redid it one more time. As for um, tactics, like, get a long range mech. Probably not maybe a stalker, but uh, the carapace did a good job and put it out back and then you and your other two mechs just shoot anyone that comes and pops their head up take as many uh, airstrikes as you can and don't use them immediately it's really really satisfying to lay waste to the first group that comes because they're uh, light and mediums and i think maybe one heavy and a single airstrike takes care of all, all of them immediately. But you want to keep them for the assault mix. And um, also, I did find one bit of a bug. And that is, if you have the mod called Repair Base installed, then you can only use one of the Repair Bays. So uninstall that, and then you can use both of them. Now, I think that's it for this particular mission. And again, uh, the uh, thermal vision, the default thermal vision is kind of horrible. 
it will let you see through smoke, but it's still horrible. So using Control M to switch to any of the other mo modes, sorry, is uh, something I would definitely suggest. As for what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause Mech 5 for a bit, let it rest, let the mods update and fix a lot of the problems I've had, hopefully. And I'm going to focus on Battletech, just getting through the campaign and get to the point where I can start playing either Rogue Tech or Battletech Advanced 3062, I believe it's called. And uh, yeah, I'm just... Oh, there's an Atlas there. Cool. But um, yeah, after that... I kind of want to go back to uh, the mostly armless playthrough using yet another mech lab and just um, well if you don't remember the rules of that playthrough is no assault mechs just lights mediums and heavies and uh, yeah I kind of like that because there's a lot more variety in heavy mechs than there are in assault mechs especially the later uh, like 100 ton mechs there's really only four of them and they're all more or less the same also still a little salty that i didn't get to play around with an annihilator or marauder 2 in this playthrough i actually did think like mm, can i use a save game editor to give me one just in case just because i've been trying if it's in the game i would have encountered it so far but uh, now it felt like cheating, so never did that. And, uh, yeah. I think with all of that said and done, yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful human beings, I've been Computer, this has been Mech5 Mercenaries, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.